Howdy friends, I'm back with my Taylor nylon string guitar. I was living in North Berkeley, California and a little north of there was a guitar center. My friend calls it Banjo Center. It's not there anymore, it moved down to the Emeryville area down near Pixar Studios. Anyway, typical guitar center, huge store with lots of stuff in there and they had one room of, an, of acoustics. So I walked in there one day and this was hanging on the wall and I pulled it down and uh, something about that room, it has nice acoustics. Uh, besides acoustic guitars, it just sounds nice. They've got different angles to the walls and carpet and stuff so that things just sound good as they should when you play them in there. And I also just sort of fell in love with the look of the thing. It has an Engelmann spruce top, which is a kind of extra special type of spruce. The other types are uh, Sitka is a very common one, Sitka spruce. And in the old days, the old Martins were made, I guess, with Adirondack spruce, which is not as tight grain, but the old pre-war Martins uh, aged very well. Uh, of course, worth a lot of money, the pre-war Martins, pre-World War II. So it's got a uh, mahogany neck. It has a very interesting, a kind of a finger lap joint here. So if it ever fell on the head, it probably would not break there. It's really, really strong. The thing about tailors is they're so perfectly made. This is actually a bolt-on neck, but you could never know it because the joint between the uh, maple side and the back and, and the neck is so perfect. Bob Taylor uh, uses computers. He was one of the first, I think, to really computerize a guitar factory. And uh, at first I thought the guitars were a little bit too perfect, but um, a lot of people play them and get really great sound out of them. This is a ebony fretboard. As you might know, uh, ebony is one of these tone woods or woods that traditionally used for making guitars that is endangered and maybe some animal lives in the ebony trees or something. So it's, I think, not legal to import ebony into the United States anymore. And Gibson got into a lot of trouble a few years ago, I think, for uh, having ebony that in their factory that wasn't documented or something. Turns out, uh, after I researched this a bit, that this wood for the bridge and that's laid on top of the head here is called Cocobolo, I believe it is, which I'm not really familiar with, but it looks kind of like rosewood to me. Uh, maybe I should put some oil on this. Uh, it's quite light. It looks like it needs uh, some kind of hydration. The strings are these uh, Diodario Pro Arte strings and the ones that apparently Taylor recommends are the high, extra high tension, extra hard tension um, strings. I think they're louder. Uh, they're probably a little bit harder to play, a little bit harder to push down. So um, these might be the high tension, I'm not sure. One of the things about uh, Thailand being a little bit humid is uh, the strings kind of discolor after a while. <clears throat> I don't play this guitar all the time. Sometimes I'll, I'll get into a, a bunch of playing for a couple months. I'll, I'll be kind of uh, in love with it or wanting to play it. And then I'll put it in the case and uh, put it in the closet or behind my bed for a few months and then I'll uh, get a hankering to play it again and, and pull it out. So recently I have pulled it out and uh, when I do, it's a lot of fun. I Really nice for the bossa nova style, of course, um, which I wish I was better at. Bossa nova has some really uh, beautiful chords like the Joe Beam classics. One tune I did learn a long time ago. Corny tune in a way. 
It was sitting on a, a stand in my old apartment once and I, uh, I nudged it and it fell over and so I've got two little dings in it unfortunately uh, one on the ebony fretboard a little bit and the other one was uh, about here in the neck I think and I I buffed them out they're, they're pretty small but two little flaws in it now it's got the uh, Fishman Pro Blend electronics again it flips open so you can change the battery it's got a soundboard transducer apparently and also a pickup under the bridge and you can blend the two which is kind of nice when I first got it I went through some fits trying to get a good sound out of an amp I took it to a gig once where I was playing solo and uh, I really wasn't happy with the sound I had that night so I downloaded some instructions about how to set it and Anyway, uh, it is possible to get a good sound out of it. You know that guy, Jason Mraz, um, has one almost the same as this, and he gets a real good live sound out of his, so I don't really have an excuse. Um, but it's great for uh, real sensitive, uh, classical kind of things. And they built it uh, thinking for people coming from a steel string background, so you can play it with a pick. Works real well with a pick. Um, real versatile, you can play it for pop sort of stuff. And uh, the back is just gorgeous. Um, it's a flame maple, solid maple back. Just gorgeous, and the sides are also solid maple, uh, big leaf maple, apparently. What else can I tell you about it? Um, it cost me over $2,000 originally. I don't think they make this exact model anymore, uh, but they've got one that's comparable, probably. Spruce on the top is the, uh, the book matched where it's cut down the middle and flayed open like most guitars and it's quite tight so a lot of people say uh, look for a tight grain piece of wood but really you just have to play it um, every piece of wood is a little different so you could have 10 of these and they'd all probably sound a little different so it's a uh, 1 and 7 eighths inch width at the nut here which is about a quarter inch smaller than a traditional classical guitar so it makes it easier for people coming from a steel string background. I did recently uh, tweak the neck truss rod to uh, try to bring the action down a little bit. Um, I probably shouldn't bring it down too far, but it might be fun to try to bring it down a little bit more. I might take out the saddle and uh, sand it down on the bottom. That's another way to bring the action down a little bit. Um, Already, oh, this model number is called the NS62-CE, and I think it's around a 2005 model. Taylor Guitars, uh, just a honey.